everybody, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be doing a Draw My Financial Life video. Now, I actually got this idea from a financial education, this channel, so full disclosure, um, got the idea from him, totally stole it. Um, so anyways, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna start off in 2009. And in 2009, I, you know, I was apart from making 500,000, 500, apart from making like $500 to 1,000 bucks a month for just doing a few hours of camp counseling, I wasn't really making any money. But, uh, so we're gonna do that. That's about there on the line. And same thing happened in 2010. I still wasn't really working apart from camp counselor, but I was saving up some money. 2011, same thing. Um, wasn't really doing too much. 2012, okay. So right at the tail end of 2012, I got my corporate job. I was 18 years old. And so, um, you know, I would make as much in a couple days as I would an entire month of camp counseling. So that it pretty much went sky high like that, right? And uh, I was doing corporate job full time. And then what happened, you know, once I went to university and school started, I had more responsibilities. I couldn't work as much. And so what happened was, you know, it, I was still working, but you know, it kind of declined here. And then in 2014, I quit my corporate job and I created some passive income streams and I had a great year for stocks and all that. So, you know, my income actually kind of went up to pretty much the same amount as it was when I had my corporate job. And that was the year when I had, yeah, the like 80% ROI on stocks and like I made thousands of dollars from that. It was like 80 to 84% or something. And I created some, you know, YouTube channels, some online stores, all that stuff. And I was doing a, a decent passive income for a university student, especially. And then, uh, and then 2015, that was shitty. So 2015 happened. And if you've watched this channel, um, all the videos, you know what happened to me in 2015. I got sick and I was hospitalized and I couldn't work. And all I had was my passive income to live off of, but I burned through everything. I burned through my passive income. I burned through my savings. I, I didn't have more than a, maybe $100, $200 in my bank left. If that, it was probably less for all I know. I actually forget. But I had, I had less money than I did in grade nine. And I couldn't work for an entire year. It sucked. That was definitely the, you know, getting dumped at that time too while I was sick. That's definitely the low point in my life. But then... Uh, then, you know, I stayed at that level for like pretty much an entire, almost an entire year up until about September of 2015. And then, you know, I started, you know, working again for myself and 2016 was a good year. 2016, I started, you know, saving up some money, passive income, all that stuff. And then right at the tail, not at the tail end of 2016, actually, it was about halfway through 2016, um, I launched my, my businesses or was it, when was real estate? It was September. I don't even remember, September-ish. And so then what happened here <laughs> was uh, it started going like this. And 2017 happened and it's just, I can't even explain. It's like there right now. Um, I had more economic growth in the past six months than I did the entire six years beforehand. And, but the thing is here is that through this entire time, through 2009 to 2016, 2017, I tried a bunch of business ventures, especially in between here, in, right in between 2014 and 2016 to slash 2017, I tried like 20 different business ventures in there. And so, you know, this exponential growth here was from, you know, essentially three income streams that worked versus 17 that didn't pan out. That's what I'm trying to say here. And all through here, I was just learning. I was learning through mentors. I was learning how to work. I was learning how to make money. And especially 2013, when I got the corporate job, I started learning a little bit about real estate too, and started to learn about how business works, how, how small businesses work and all that stuff. That's what that taught me. You know, I had a mentor named Jeff. He, he taught me a lot. Same with my mom. And, and, you know, I asked my dad questions, even though he's, he's paralyzed, but, um, yeah, so it, I know it seems like I got lucky or something in through here through 2016, 2017, but what people don't see is that I had to go through a lot of shit in through here. Like my dad became paralyzed right there in 2009 and like fully paralyzed and I had to, you know, kind of take care of him. And then 
it, I wasn't really making any money, but I was still learning. I was in high school. I was going through, I was transitioning into becoming, you know, more of a speaker. And um, yeah, in just 2013, the corporate job hit. I learned a lot. 2015, obviously, I, I probably learned, 2015 was my biggest learning experience, I think, about how there's certain people that'll stick around when things get bad, and then there's certain people that, that won't. And um, I, there was only a handful of people that, uh, apart from my family, that stuck around when things got tough for me. And now that things are, are doing really, really well, um, I know who my true friends are now. And I know who to trust, I know who not to trust. And uh, I learned a lot about business. So anyways, th this is, you know, it's a kind of a cool curve right now. And I know that uh, Jeremy from Financial Education had, you know, he had his ups and downs too. But I think that uh, my, my 2015 year, literally, like literally going from making thousands and thousands a month from in university, having a bunch of passive income streams to not being able to work and getting sick and having burning through all my savings and then finally having this this growth is just I think I went through some pretty damn extreme good pretty um extreme economic times especially because you know in 2015 I didn't know if I was gonna you know be able to, to live right like literally I didn't know if I'd be alive in six months because you know my organs were just failing and stuff so um that's kind of my, my financial life right now and hopefully this hopefully this will just go up to be honest, I'm expecting this to go off the chart. Even if a recession hits, I'm kind of expecting this to like go way up. Like this is the, you know, I've mentioned it in my financial goals video. That's the like seventy thousand to hundred thousand dollar a year mark where I'm at right now, and um, I need to. I want to get that higher this year. I set. I'm gonna set my goals higher. I want. I want to do four hundred grand this year. So I don't know how that's gonna happen, but we're gonna see. So, anyways, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. You're all very beautiful people. I'll see you guys in the next video.